I'm Dave and today we're going to perform an experiment to compare the cool mode versus the dry mode on a mini split air conditioning heat pump. Okay, in this case we have an air spool solar powered hybrid mini split heat pump, but your standard mini split, if it has the cool and dry mode, should work the same way. You'll see that there's very little airflow coming out of here right now. Okay, but meanwhile, The coil is pretty chilly, 45 degrees. The space is around 84 degrees. So this unit's purposely under, undersized here. It's the only thing running in a 3,000 square foot building. And look at the power here. If you add up the solar versus the AC, there's around 400 watts. So it's only using 400 watts. Okay, in this mode, you'll see it's on the, this icon shows it's in the dry mode, not the cooling mode. And the conditions here right now are 37% humidity and 96 degrees. So we'll take a look outside and I'll show all the condensate that's coming down right now. And the dry mode so yeah the technical term for this weather in las vegas is skanky it's august it's monsoon season but it's been the worst monsoon season in 10 years so a lot of humidity in the air and the humidity is coming out of that condensate hose condensate pipe condensate line and all dripping down here so that's quite a bit of condensate and the next test we'll do will be the cool cooling or cool mode Okay, we're back in action about an hour and 20 minutes later, only now we're in turbo mode. So we're in cooling mode with turbo, and you can see this, our windsock is definitely moving a lot faster than it was before, basically before there was no airflow. And uh, the bad news is we're taking around 850 watts of power, so there's a lot more power in the cooling mode than the dry mode. And it's a little bit cooler in here, I think. The, the coil, meanwhile, it's, uh, it's still about the same for the coil because the compressor now is working a lot harder. And it's a little bit cooler in the space. And for sure, sitting here, it's a lot cooler uh, to be sitting here when it's in cooling mode than in dry mode. And in terms of... Uh, Humidity, nothing good has happened in the humidity here in the last hour plus. Still a mess. And this looks like, <laughs> it looks like it's cranking out even more water now, maybe because it's a little bit higher humidity. It's still uh, 95 degrees, uh, but there's a limit to which many splits can secrete their water too. And I think it's, this one's 1.3 liters an hour. And when the humidity's like 37%, like it is now, we might be tapped. But bottom line for, if you are in um, cooling mode, it's gonna feel cooler in the space, but it's gonna take up more energy. So a recommendation would be to run your unit in dry mode when you're not there and when you're sit sitting in front of it have the fan on turbo or on high but the fan's not going to actually make the air cool colder but it's going to feel cooler when it's hitting your skin as fans tend to do thanks